Hi guys, this is the third video of Draft Project. I hope all of you watched the first video I made about painting brake calipers. If you miss it, I'm giving you the link in the description below. In this video, I will show you how to paint a drum brake cover. So here I will be demonstrating it on a 1992 Honda Civic EG. This Honda came with a drum brakes as standard feature. The drum brake cover was originally black but my father decided to change it to neon green 20 years ago. As you can see, two decades of heat and usage caused the paint to crack and chip off. The durability of your paint depends on the type of spray paint you use and the prep work. Here are the tools that you're gonna need. A newspaper or anything that can cover an area, a 100 grit sandpaper, a high temperature spray paint, your choice of color, I chose matte black for an OEM look, safety gloves to protect your hands, an eye protection or safety glasses, a spray bottle with a mixture of soap and water as previously seen on my first video. This will be used for cleaning the drum brakes. A paint stripper to remove the paint from the drum brake cover. If you have power tools like grill with a wire brush on the end, then that would be an effective alternative to use. You could also sand it all the way with a sandpaper, but it would take a lot longer compared to these two methods. An alcohol, this is a good alternative for wax and grease remover. A rag, a toothbrush to thoroughly clean the drum brake cover. A spatula to hasten the process of stripping the paint. If you don't have one, you could also use a war brush as an alternative too. A brush to spread the paint stripper. Finally, a dust mask to prevent yourself from inhaling those dust and poisonous fumes. First, remove your drum brake cover. Be sure to put some axle sense before you work on your car. Apply some paint stripper on the surface of your drum brake cover. Spread it well using your brush. Make sure everything is completely covered. Let the paint stripper do the work. As the paint stripper penetrates, you can use your spatula or wire brush to remove the paint gradually. Sand the surface smooth and remove some unwanted marks. After the process of removing the paint, it's time to clean the drum brake cover. Use your toothbrush and cleaning solution to clean the drum brake cover. Be sure to remove most of the dirt as this can debilitate or affect the paint's durability. Rinse properly to remove the solution. Use your rag to dry off the drum brake cover. Afterwards, make sure to wipe it off with an alcohol to remove any leftover dirt and grease. This would be your final process of cleaning before you start painting. Once the drum brake cover is completely dry, grab your spray paint and apply a light coat. After 15 minutes of drying, spray all the areas for the second coating. Cover it with a medium coat. Wait for another 15 minutes and repeat the process for the last coating. Leave it dry for at least 30 minutes. When everything is done, reinstall your drum brake cover and check the result. 
As you can see, it looks amazing. This is how it looks like before and after. It took me 5 hours to do this, but it was really worth it. I hope you appreciate this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page to keep you updated. Thank you very much for watching my video and God bless.